Hello, my name is Lonnie Bastian. I'm a principal program manager at Microsoft, and I've been working here for about 10 years. Today, I'd like to talk to you about upgrade and migration for SQL Server 2016. So the first product that I'd like to talk to you about is the Upgrade Advisor for SQL Server 2016. This is a product that you'll use when you're upgrading or migrating SQL Server. Before we get into what we're doing that's new, I wanted to talk to you about what we've heard from customers about upgrade and migration. One of the things that we've heard is that there's a need to understand the value of the new platforms before you actually go through the upgrade process. There's also been a desire to have a simplified solution to streamline the upgrade and migrations. We've also heard that you'd love to have some assistance in automating the upgrade and migration tasks. And one of the things that we hear loud and clear is that there's a need to reduce the risk in compatibility as well as understanding any performance impact that the upgrade is going to have to your workload. Okay, so what is it and what does it do? The SQL Server 2016 Upgrade Advisor offers a unified experience for all of your SQL Server upgrades and migration, and it offers you an end-to-end -end experience in a single product. So what's the first part of the upgrade and migration process? So the first part of this is a feature compatibility analysis. And this is what has existed inside of the Upgrade Advisor in the past. What does it do? It looks at your existing databases and servers. It examines your schema. It examines the features that you're using. And it gives you output about whether or not anything within that database or server is going to have compatibility issues when you upgrade to a newer version of SQL Server. And so this is great for you to understand the amount of work that's going to need to be done before you can actually do the upgrade. Based upon customer feedback, we've added a new part to this workflow, and that's feature recommendations. And what this does is as well as looking at just the compatibility issues, it looks at your database, and it looks at the new features in the new versions of SQL Server, and it finds examples where you can take advantage of the benefits of the new versions of SQL Server for your specific database, your specific data, and your specific workloads. And so some examples of this are it'll make recommendations on if using in-memory OLTP is going to benefit your database. And so it looks at your locking. It looks at many other metrics to make a recommendation about whether or not new features are going to benefit your, your database. Also based upon customer feedback, we've heard that addressing the compatibility issues that are called out by the upgrade advisors is a task that you guys would like assistance with. And so with the new 2016 Upgrade Advisor, we now have several of the compatibility issues that we will automatically fix for you. And this is done in a couple ways. We can make the change directly on your behalf to the database, or we can script out the changes that you can make to the database to correct the compatibility issue. So what are the types of compatibility issues that we provide automatic fixes for? So some examples are uh, if your database uses any of the non-ANSI join syntax, that's the star equals, that's an example of a feature that we can provide you with a script to rewrite it as a left or right outer join. There's also an example if you're using a deprecated raise error syntax. This is something where we can provide you the new syntax so you can automatically apply it to your database, and that's lowering your cost to do your actual upgrade. So once you're done with the assessment part of your upgrade, you're now ready to move your database to the new instance of SQL Server. And so there's a couple ways that you can go about doing this. One is what we call an in-place upgrade, where we take your existing instance and we upgrade it to the new version of SQL Server. If you're buying new hardware or provisioning a new virtual machine, generally what you'll do is you'll install your new version of SQL Server on that new machine, and you'll migrate the server or the databases over. And so the Upgrade Advisor can now help you in both of these scenarios. And so one of the things that this now does for you is it does either one-time upgrade, where you take some downtime and upgrade the, all, all the servers and databases to the new version. And something else we're excited about is actually the continuous upgrade, where in a side-by-side -side scenario, we can move your database over to the new instance and keep the database and the schema in sync until your application is ready to cut over. And so this allows you to narrow the amount of downtime that, that your application has to take in an, up, in an upgrade. So now I'd like to talk to you about some of the feature recommendations that are built into the new SQL Server 2016 Upgrade Advisor. 
When you run the advisor against your existing 2005, 2008, 2012, or 2014 instances, we'll now give you recommendations if the new features in SQL Server 2016 are ones that you can take advantage of. And so we'll be looking at your schema and deciding whether or not you can take advantage of in-memory column store indexes, or taking a look at your tables and understanding if there's lots of locking and seeing if we should recommend you to use an in-memory table or in-memory procedure. We'll also be looking at the schema and the data and offering recommendations of whether or not you should be looking at using the new always encrypted feature or the dynamic data masking for the sensitive data that is in your database. If you're looking at a database with a lot of cold data, we'll be looking at those tables and recommending whether or not stretch database is a feature that you can take advantage of. There are also several new features in the reporting services, integration services, and analysis services that we will give you recommendations on the value once you upgrade to SQL Server 2016. So what is the matrix of, of the features and products that we support by the SQL Server Upgrade Advisor? When you're upgrading using the Upgrade Advisor, we support moving to SQL Server 2012, SQL Server 2014, SQL Server 2016, as well as Azure SQL Database, and new to the product is going to be the Azure SQL Data Warehouse. Using the SQL Server 2016 Upgrade Advisor, you can upgrade all of your existing SQL Server 2005, SQL Server 2008, and R2 databases, as well as SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server 2014. So now I'd like to show you a demo using the SQL Server Upgrade Advisor and show you how it can recommend using specific features for your database. One of the first tasks you're going to do when looking at upgrading your existing SQL Server is to examine whether or not there are any compatibility issues that you need to address before you upgrade. So inside the new advisor, you can click on Analyze and Migrate to SQL Server. The first thing we need to do is to choose which server we are going to assess. So I'm going to look at an existing SQL Server 2000 R2 instance. I'm going to connect. I'm going to choose AdventureWorks 2000 schema. And I'm going to run the assessment. So what is it doing when it's doing the assessments? It's looking at all the schema inside of your database, looking at your views, your procedures, your triggers, your tables, and analyzing if there are any compatibility issues that you will encounter when you upgrade. So it's completed here. And it's identified that there are four issues in this database that I need to look at before I upgrade. So I can drill into the issues by clicking on them. And it gives me a breakdown of which compatibility modes these issues apply to. So in this particular case, I have a database that's in compatibility mode 80. And the compatibility issues that it's found are in moving from compatibility mode 80 to compatibility mode 90. So what are the issues that it found? Let's drill in. So if we click here, we find that there is one high issue, one medium issue, and two low issues. Let's drill into the high severity issue first. And so what it tells me here is that I am using a non-ANSI style left outer join. And it tells me that I have one object that is doing this. And it also tells me about the impact and what the recommendation is to address the issue. So if I click on the impacted object, I can see the name here. It also gives me a little bit more information about where in the procedure the usage is. I can also drill into the second issue here, which is a medium severity. So again, it gives me the impacted objects. It gives me a description of what the issue is. It also gives me a recommendation. And if I'd like to go and read more about this topic, I can go and click on these links below and educate myself on what the ramifications are of this issue. Again, if I click on the impacted objects, I'm given the name of the object as well as the location inside the view definition of where this order by clause is used. So once I've looked at these, I can go and fix these issues, and then I can go and migrate. So now I'd like to show you one of the other advisors for the in-memory OLTP and column store. So let's take a look at what this does. So again, the first step is to connect to a database. And I'm going to choose here the AdventureWorks uh, data Warehouse 2016 CTB3 database. So I'm going to run the analysis. It's going to look. And in this particular case, it's looked at the DMV values inside of it. And it's found that it can recommend that we should use the clustered column store index in this database. And so it gives you a little bit more information about 
cluster column store indexes. There's a write up here. It gives you the recommendation. It tells you which table it believes you should put the column store index on. And it also gives you some of the DDL statements to go and add those to your database. It also gives you a little more context and it lets you go and read about the columns or indexes so you can understand how you might apply this in other areas of your database as well. And so that's just another example of one of the things that we're adding to help you understand the value of the new features that exist in SQL Server 2016. And so for all the features that I listed uh, in the previous slides, in-memory OLTP, column store, security, dynamic data masking, always encrypted, there'll be advices for each one of those features that allow you to understand whether or not for your specific database and workload, those features would be good and offer value to you. I'd now like to switch gears and talk about the SQL Server Migration Assistant. The SQL Server Migration Assistant is used for scenarios when you're coming from a foreign platform, such as Oracle or Sybase or DB2 or MySQL or Access. Aligned with the SQL Server 2016 release, we are releasing a new version of the SQL Server Migration Assistant 7.0. So what are the new features in this new version? We're very excited to both add some new features for SQL Server 2016, as well as Azure SQL Database. For the new features in SQL Server 2016, such as in-memory column store, role-level security, temporal, these features are now natively migrated if you are using these features in Oracle, DB2, or Sybase. SSMA 6.0 already supports migrating in-memory in OLTP tables to SQL Server 2014, and this feature again is still present for SQL Server 2016. If you're migrating to Azure SQL Database, there are many new features inside of Azure SQL Database that have been added over the past year. So with this version of SQL Server Migration Assistant, we now offer the ability to migrate, just as we did with on-prem, in-memory OLTP, as well as in-memory column store, role-level security, temporal, and sequences. And so all of these new features now make it so that it is an easier migration path from your existing foreign platform databases to either SQL Server 2016 or Azure SQL Database. So I'd like to encourage you all to go and download these tools and try them for your upgrade or migration. To get the SQL Server Upgrade Advisor, go to aka.ms slash SSUA. And for the SQL Server Migration Assistant, go to aka.ms slash SSMA. So in closing, I'd just like to say that we're really excited about the new features of SQL Server 2016 Upgrade Advisor. And we believe that the new feature recommendations will give you great insight into the value of upgrading your database to SQL Server 2016. So I encourage you all to download it and give it a try. Thank you very much.